If you asked me a few weeks ago what I did with my day, I couldn't tell you. So I decided to start a daily challenge where I challenged myself to make a vlog every single day to basically take control back of my life. So today is day 19. How do people go out every single night of the weekend and still wake up early to go to work on Monday morning. I don't I don't know how. I need somebody to explain this to me because I am so tired. And the funny part is I didn't really go out. Yeah, it was my birthday weekend, but the I didn't stay out. I didn't go to a club because <laughs> grandma here clubs are like i have to be in the mood for a club and that was not happening that night and it's just like i stayed up this is why i stayed up past midnight to like edit the videos to get it out but it took so long that I actually was up to like two, three o'clock in the morning waiting for it to export so I can actually upload it. And then once it was uploading to YouTube, then I could be like, okay, I'm going to bed. In the morning, I'll finish filling out whatever I need to fill out and then schedule it. But I am tired, like really tired. I normally, luckily i can normally get some naps in the day sometimes but since wednesday yeah since wednesday it's just been go 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 and i'm like how do people do this how i i don't know i don't know i don't think i've ever been the type to stay up like all night and be able to function the next day without anything and the thing is I don't drink coffee so it's like I don't drink coffee and I don't drink energy juice or any type of energy anything so there's no extra outside help that I can get really it's just what I'm working with inside my body and the foods that I actually eat but yeah how do you do it I don't know I need I need answers I need answers you know, I'm not as tired as I know I could be because I paced myself. I made sure that I wasn't doing anything that would make me feel like crap the next morning. So it's like I had a few champagne, I had some wine, and I had um, a Cosmo, which was really terrible. Like, how do you mess up a Cosmo? Like. I was told once that when you go to a bar and you don't know what to order, order a Cosmopolitan because it's like really easy for them to make and it's like you can never really make it bad. Yeah. It works normally all the time but this time it was just, it was weird. But I haven't had it in a while so it could be me. Could be me. So it's like I knew that if I drank a little bit too much i would wake up with a headache and i don't want a head i don't like headaches because i've had migraine headaches and they are no fun like being sensitive to sound and light and the back of my head is just like splitting is no fun so i will do everything to avoid getting an eddy a headache so there was no excess drinking or anything which a lot of people do on their birthday or on the weekends like normal but one year probably two years ago i was like why do people go out and drink on their birthday we're just like oh this is what you do on your birthday like who made who made that rule who who came up with that rule and why is everyone following it like oh it's your birthday you're supposed to drink until you drop what why and i was there and i remember thinking you know i was at the bar 
on my birthday and it probably wasn't my birthday one of them doesn't matter and I'm thinking it was a celebration of a birthday let's put it at that and I remember thinking we don't normally do this during the week throughout the entire year why do we feel like on our birthdays we're supposed to do this thing that we don't even do on our regular it was like it it really didn't make any sense to me so I'm just like I'm not gonna put myself into the position that I know I don't want to be in just because this is what everybody does for their birthday no 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 <laughs> so it's like I did things that I knew when I woke up the next morning I'd feel great I drink a lot of water hold on I drink a lot of water and actually how much water have you drank today hmm? watching you yeah so I drink a lot of water normally so my body my insides are hydrated for the most part and for the past few days I haven't been drinking a lot of water and it's because I you know I'm excited I mean on the move it's winter all of that so it's like I haven't been intaking a lot of water but I still make sure that I'm eating correctly and that everything that I'm doing is not going to make me excessively tired the next day so my end of day timer goes off at 6 and whenever that goes off it's like all work ends and for the past three days because i haven't been home and i haven't been on my schedule really that time has been pushed from six to like two in the morning and those aren't my hours because by eight nine o'clock i'm in my bed okay i love my bed but i realized that when i stay up that late to finish finish the videos and everything and I love the process of when it's uploading and it's like oh hey yeah this is actually coming tomorrow it's gonna be published tomorrow and when you wake up it's gonna be ready to go I love that process and I think it's why I'm excited that I'm still going like today it's been 19 days 19 days like tomorrow makes 20 how insane is that but i feel like i get more and more excited about it every single day so i make that extra time to go and edit and make sure that i get it out because i'm like i committed to doing this so i'm gonna actually do it another thing since it's officially vlogmas right vlogmas is um it starts on December 1st to Christmas where it's like you put out a vlog every single day so you have 25 vlogs for December since I started this daily challenge before that and it's running into vlogmas does this technically count as a vlogmas or is it something separate and can I put them together yeah I'm curious I'm very curious anyways so back to what i was saying so doing these videos every day it's like i've had to break from that norm where it's like i'm gonna stop all work at six o'clock and for the short term that worked and it works because i know i'm not going to push myself beyond that three days not even four because Three days is the max I would give myself to break my routine where I know that I'm sacrificing sleep. Because when it comes to sacrificing sleep, you, you build up a debt bag. Like the sleep deprivation that you get from not going to bed just keeps building and building and building and building. And normally it's a trap. It's like you get so tired that you just want to sleep all day and then when you do actually sleep all day you wake up still feeling tired 
so it's like you never fully fully recover from being tired so i know that i give myself like three days max where i'm just like okay i can break my routine or be chaotic for three days but it's like everything stops right after that and ooh, eyelash make a wish you have eyelash make a wish okay <laughs> so after the three days have passed and today makes day four i was like i am not going to the gym i am not doing anything extra that is going to make me a lot more tired because i will only be hurting myself and what good is that going to do for me if i'm super super duper tired the next couple of days where i know i need to get things that i want to do done or things that i've committed to help other people do how am i going to function if i'm sleep deprived and me with my researcher brain who wants to know how everything affects what and everything i looked up one of the what are the causes not causes what are the signs that you're sleep deprived and it's like the first thing is having difficulty focusing or remembering things and i'm like wait i have both of those and it's funny because it's like years ago years ago i could not sleep through the night it's like i feel like i was an insomniac even though i wasn't technically diagnosed as, as an insomniac but i wasn't sleeping through the night i had night terrors and i was constantly sleep deprived like i would try to sleep through the day and it just was it wouldn't work it wouldn't work because i needed to do all this stuff during the day and it wasn't happening so it's like i felt like i was losing my memory and i couldn't remember certain things i couldn't remember people's names i couldn't like there is a point where I I couldn't remember the places that or how to get to the places that I was going. And this is funny because when I was younger, it's not really funny, but when I was younger, if and I, it, I've worked on my memory since then and my sleep since then. So it's like I'm my memory now is awesome. But it's like I can go anywhere once and remember how to get there walking bus um uh, it's kind of up in the air with with driving because yeah that's why i have gps anyways um working on that part too so it's like i felt like i was losing my memory and i started doing a lot of memory exercises brain exercises and that actually helped and i started sleeping more because i don't know i guess my body was just tired of being tired so it was just like all right we're gonna sleep and i did i changed a whole lot i changed i changed what i was eating as well i cut back on a lot of carbs and all that and a lot of starchy food and i felt lighter when i was going to bed so i guess that kind of helped and I've invested in some some things where it's like I have a weighted blanket that I researched and found that having that extra weight on you when you're sleeping actually helps to calm the body and makes you fall asleep and stay stay asleep and oh my god that thing is heaven sent and the eye mask that I ordered from Black Friday it actually came and when I tell you, I, when I put this on, the bottom part, you know how, when you put this on, the bottom part, you can't, you can't really see light coming through and everything. This has this thing where it bends and curves to your nose. When I put it on, like, I can't see anything right now. Like, it's complete darkness i cannot see anything and i was amazed i'm just like 
Oh, I am never getting rid of it. It is so thick. It, it's like seriously so thick and the material is so soft and everything and this contour part right here is just it contours see I said it and put it back so that helps to when you put it over your nose because most of the most of the eye masks they don't take into fact that people have nose it's not just you know we have noses and some are a bit higher, some are a bit wider and everything. So having this, it really helps to block the, the light out. And I have the weighted blanket, I have the eye mask. And when I tell you, when I go to bed, I actually sleep. I actually sleep. So my memory started getting better and I was able to start focusing more on things because I'm not thinking about how tired I am anymore. I'm just like, okay, I'm actually rested and now my brain can work properly. So it's like, I don't know. I didn't know that dealing with, and there was depression on top of it and depression, one of the side effects for depression is actually memory loss and i yeah i was i was having some issues with that too i was freaking out because i'm just like wait i can't focus on things i'm not remembering things it's, oh, what no no i am way too young for that and then another reason that i found for when you're sleep deprived another sign is that you're weaker so it's like our physical strength depletes when we're tired. So when you go to the gym, if you go to the gym, which I highly recommend you should go to the gym because you should take care of your body. You're going to be in it for a long time. So take care of it. So when you go to the gym and you lift weights, right? And you can't pass a certain pound. And you're like, oh, maybe it's just that, you know, I'm weak or whatever. And then you don't get good sleep. So you're tired on top of it. Not realizing that because you're sleep deprived, you're physically weaker. So you thinking that, oh, that you're just natural. You can't lift past a certain point is because you're tired. What? I didn't know that. So it's like, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> it's like it's so insane there's how much sleep actually affects our everyday life and i feel like people don't put enough emphasis on sleeping like what that is one of the most beneficial things you can ever do for yourself is to just go to bed and sleep especially if you're tired and especially if you have to drive to work or drive for work and you're tired, that's that's a huge no-no. I feel like, I don't know how true this is, but most of the accidents that really do happen is because people are tired. They fall asleep at the wheel and something dreadful happens. So it's like, we can't function without sleep. Like there has been studies where they put people through a process where they're like, okay, you're not going to sleep for a certain amount of days to see how long the human body can go without sleeping. And it didn't do very well. Like at the end of the, the study, like the people did not look like people. I think like everyone went mad because our bodies need to sleep. One thing I found out about resting is that when you're tired the only thing that can help you to become not tired is to sleep like it doesn't matter what type of food you eat where it's just like oh this one gives you enough energy to get you through the day and everything and it's just like if you're not sleeping no matter how much coffee you drink if you drink coffee how many how much ginger tea you drink how much energy boosting foods or anything that you do intake is it's not going to help if you don't go to sleep and i feel like one people eat way too late where your body need time to digest the food if for dinner 
you need time to digest your food before you go to sleep and when you go to sleep on a full stomach it's like you're giving your body extra work to do while it's sleeping it's already working when you're sleeping like you think it's not doing anything while you're sleeping your body's going through a whole lot of things while it's sleeping so it's like don't give it extra work to do by eating very late and then going to sleep right after mm -mm. that's not good for you so it's like you want to feel light when you go to sleep you want to feel like your belly is not stuffed to the point where oh my god i can't lay down it where it becomes uncomfortable that's not doing you any good and when it comes to turning the screens off do not go to sleep with the tv on please that blue light that emits from the tv that you think is actually helping you to go to sleep Oh, I can't go to sleep without the TV being on. Guess what? The TV is actually keeping you up. Because that blue light is meant to keep you awake. <sighs> you are doing so much damage to your body if you do that. And it's like, one, your body gets so much rest when the room is dark. So if you're scared of the dark, then I'm sorry for you. But wear the eye mask where you know <laughs> but even i don't know if it's getting dark i don't know how to help you honestly because your body loves the dark when it's sleeping it's just it's how it is it's really how it is it gets the most rest when there's no light and or if you have a red light then it's just turn on your red light if you're scared of the dark there we go if you're scared of the dark use a red light don't use the white because the white is gonna it's not gonna help you and it's gonna try to tell your body that hey it's daylight you should probably wake up which is why you still wake up very tired so if you have a night light and you want to use a night light because you're scared of the dark or if you just want a light in the room use a red red light bulb there okay so when your body feels light because you didn't eat or drink too much water or any liquids or anything before you go to bed and the room is dark or with a red light and you feel comfortable and that tv's off and your phone is very far away from you your body can actually start to relax and this is what i've had to do where it's just like I realized this because well one I don't really like the TV I don't I will watch my Netflix shows and everything but for the most part I can go for weeks without watching anything on the TV like I would use my phone and watch something on YouTube but TV yeah I wouldn't mind if I actually don't have a TV that's how much I'm just like yeah I don't really watch it so I've learned that never fall asleep in front of the TV. It's, you're just gonna wake up and then the TV is gonna be going and you just be like, oh, I'm in such a daze, what's happening? And you're just like, eventually you turn it off. That chaos is like, it's keeping your brain awake. <sighs> you won't get a good rest from that. And I, I learned that, I learned that, you know, if you can sleep through anything like I can do, it still doesn't help to have all of these distractions in the present room that you're going to sleep in. And when you cut all of these things out and you give your body the time to actually relax and go to sleep, you'll actually wake up a lot, a lot, a lot better, a lot better. Another thing I I found out and this one I really love it because it's actually very tasty. The cherry tart tart cherry juice. When you drink that before before you go to bed like during the day, a couple of hours before you go to bed so it like, you know, have time to work through your system and everything. When you drink that I realized whenever I drink that I get a really really deep good sleep and the crazy part about it is that I found it in Whole Foods and it's just like seven dollars something a bottle and I'm just like 
why then i went to trader joe's and it was like three almost four dollars something for it i'm like see that's better that's way better so i get mine from trader joe's whenever i do get it and that has helped so much that i feel like i should have a bottle in the house every single time so i would drink that every day i don't but i should because that's how much it actually helps so rest is the only thing that can help you rest that's funny right <laughs> another thing that i realize is when i drink the tart cherry juice like a couple of hours before bed and it, you know a couple of hours because it gets time to just like soak in and work its magic and everything i realized that the quality of sleep that i do get it's so much better in combination with the weighted blanket and the eye mask it's just like that added to that is just i wake up so rested it's like a really deep sleep that you know when you wake up you're like damn i really actually slept good i've been able to find it in like two places the well um not walmart walmart probably have it but there's no walmart in new york but whole foods whole foods have it but it's just like it's almost eight dollars like seven eight almost eight dollars for a bottle that's like this size it's like not even the big i've never seen it in a big size but it's just like why why and then i went to trader joe's and actually found it for like three three dollars almost four dollars and i'm like so much better for the, for the same for the same thing so i get it from trader joe's but that thing in combination with everything else but with that it helps so much it i sleep so well whenever i use that and i've had to learn all of these tricks to get in a good restful sleep because i was call it an insomniac i wasn't sleeping well and i used to work myself so hard that oh sleep yeah um i'll sleep i'll take like a 20 minute nap and then wake up and then go again <sighs> yeah no that is no way to run your body it's it needs its rest it truly does it really does so i've learned all of these from like trial and error and research and like how do i get better sleep how i searched how to sleep better how to get a restful night like how do i what do i need to do to make me actually go to bed and stay to bed and get a restful night another consistent thing that i realized that i have to do because most most of every all of the articles that i've written everything it's like have a consistent time that you go to bed and then when you go to bed it doesn't matter if it's on the weekend or not like go to bed at that time if you have to wake up earlier then wake up earlier but go to bed at that set time sometimes that don't work in in real life irl huh. actually use an abbreviation ah i hate abbreviations well dislike very strongly abbreviations in the real world sometimes going to bed at the same time does not work so it's like in those situations where you know you've spent a few nights past midnight burning that midnight oil drink that ter tart cherry juice use that weighted blanket and use that eye mask because your body is going to thank you after you've gotten enough rest and i've learned and I've learned and I've learned and I know that by tomorrow I'm gonna feel great because I give myself time to rest I know I had a couple of other things that I needed to do and everything but it's just like you know if it can't be done with me not leaving the house today then I guess it's just not going to happen today so if you're running really really low on your energy maybe you should look at how 
you're living your life like if you're pushing way too hard in everything and sleep is the only thing that keeps getting sacrificed it's you're gonna crash hard really hard you may end up in the hospital and when you do end up in the hospital like that is your body literally screaming bloody murder because that's kind of what you're doing you're killing yourself and don't do that please don't do that the world needs you you may not believe it sometimes but the world needs you okay there's somebody there that needs you a lot more than other people but there's always somebody that needs you so don't do that to yourself get some sleep that's exactly what i'm going to keep doing but to stick with this challenge i made this video for you today because i'm like you know not everyone knows how to sleep properly and even though i'm tired i know what i need to do to take my ass to the bed and stay in there and how to get the best sleep out of that so if it, if anything i said was helpful then you're welcome now go to bed <laughs>